Hey, so in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to set up your ESP32-C3 and get some programming on it as well as install the firmware. If you're getting this error and mainly if you're hearing the plugging in and unplugging sound from Windows, then you probably don't have your firmware installed, especially if you can't see the files in the bottom left after clicking the bottom right and selecting which microcontroller you're using. So to update the firmware we need to load the microcontroller in in boot mode. So find the boot or boot select button on your microcontroller or ESP32, hold it down and plug it in while holding down on the boot select button. You can see here I have it plugged into a breadboard but you can also just plug it in without the breadboard if all you need to do is update the firmware. So then simply go to run configure interpreter then select which device you're using. Then make sure you select the COM output for the device that is plugged in. That's the USB port that it's plugged into. Then click on the install firmware button that's in the bottom right. Select the target, target port as the COM that we just selected earlier. Make sure it's the one that we uh, that's recommended at the bottom right of Thani when we started the application. Here we're going to use the ESP32-C3. I know this because on the product page it says ESP32-C3. Here on the variant we're going to choose the SPRIF or whatever. And I know that because on the product page it says it's the SPRIF version. So that's how I figured that out. Then we're going to select the latest driver or firmware and click install. Once it's done, disconnect it and reconnect it and then you should be able to see it in the bottom right of Thani. Just left click the m list of USB devices and then select the microcontroller or ESP32 device. The ESP32 is kind of finicky. You can't stop and start your code. You can only start it again, which is basically like live updating your code. You can only update upon what you've built. And if you need to stop and start it, again like uh, in the editor you can't do that because it doesn't have that functionality built in so it has this small reset button here that is labeled RST for reset press this small button and you'll be able to reset it and that way you can go back to editing your code or reset your code entirely if you need to if that makes any sense if you've done live editing you know what this is if you haven't this is going to be a little bit confusing at first uh, just basically hit the reset button if you're having problems and then you'll need to again go down to the bottom left of or bottom right of Thani uh, left click the USB list and select the microcontroller again all right and last but not leastly I want to rant about these cheap one to two dollar or just cheap breadboards that you might get in a hundred dollar starter kit like I bought avoid buying those kits because they come with these boards I'm going to put a link in the description for this other board here. It's much better. I'm not going to go over why it's better. Just it's much better. You're going to have a lot less headaches. I thought I shorted out my Pico or OLED screen, but it turned out it was just the breadboard being silly.